Hello. So today, as you can see from my virtual background, I'm going to talk about movies and five movies that uh, might be good to boost your English. The good thing about movies is it's kind of modern, contemporary, new. So it's uh, modern English, a natural speed. Um, what are the good things? There are many good things. Uh, also, if you watch it on Netflix or something like that, or YouTube, you can stop and pause and play again and rewind any bits that you didn't get. Another tip is to put the subtitles in English, of course. Uh, if it's really difficult, you can put Japanese subtitles. But, you know, you're an English student. Put English subtitles underneath. And um, that will help you. You, know, you can read it and listen to it at the same speed. You can even pause it, rewind it, turn the sound down, and try and say some of the lines. So that's the technical side. But which movies should you watch? Well, you know, you should watch any movies that you enjoy. Um, and here, you can see one. Here's, these are just suggestions, just five that came off the top of my head that I thought would be good for language learners. Uh, but, you know, each to their own. You watch any movie you want, you want, of course. But here's my recommendations. Number one is Notting Hill. That's what this uh, this poster, this is the Notting Hill poster. Uh, with uh, Julia Roberts and um, what's his name? Hugh Grant is on the poster. It's <laughs> giving me the thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Um, the uh, Yeah, so this is a romantic comedy set in London. The good thing is it's got some British, lots of British actors, but also an American, Julia Roberts. So there's British and American English. It's light-hearted romantic comedy, easy going. So I enjoyed that. Number two, King's The King's Speech, another British one. Um, but it features the, the King of England who's got a stutter. He can't speak when he's speaking. He goes, D -d 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 you know, he gets nervous and can't say his words based on a true story. Um, and he, so it's all about speaking and speaking in public. And, uh, with the help of an Australian, um, speech expert actor, uh, he learns to speak as I say, based on a true story. So it's kind of nice. Uh, number three is Toy Story. Um, although it's, uh, you know, it's made for children, of course, it's um, fun. and uh, got some famous, famous voices behind it, Tom Hanks. And I don't know, maybe it's getting a bit old now, but um, yeah, it's good. It's very spoken English. Very dramatic, very uh, lively. Hey, everybody, blah, like that, you know. Uh, number four, good movie, I think, The Shawshank Redemption from 1994. It's a story about friendship uh, in prison. It's based on a Stephen King novel or short story, but it's really good. That's with, uh, what's his name, Morgan Freeman. Uh, but there's a lot of um, dialogues. Um, um, oh, okay. A lot of dialogue. Um, uh, that's that. And I think that yeah. What is it? There's a narrator. There's somebody who's speaking and explaining what's going on, and that's really good. It helps you um, understand different time periods. Anyway, I think that's good. And number five, The Graduate. That's uh, pictured the um, from 1967, Dustin Hoffman's breakthrough debut. But a really funny story and about young love and mm, it, it's a, a kind of romantic comedy, but a very 1960s. Um, I, I enjoy it because my mother enjoyed it. So I enjoyed it too. Maybe you will too. I don't know. Surely you've seen it, haven't you? If you haven't seen it, you should see it once in your life, I think. Okay. That's all I've got to say. Um, try out uh, a movie. Do you have any movies that you like? Um, oh, I should ask you some questions, shouldn't I? Uh, so number one, which of the on this list of movies appeals to you? Any that don't? Anything you think, oh, I don't want that. Number two, are classic movies still worth watching for language learning? You know, are the older movies still good or are they a bit out of date? And number three, how can you best use video on the internet to practice English? What do you think? Okay.
well, happy movie going, and I will see you next time. Thank you.